What's up, y'all? Hey, um, hot sauce for you today. We said that really green. Green. Thank you. Hope you guys are all right. <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. We got past Monday, so if you're still here today, be grateful, be thankful. Um, I want to talk about mental health. And not only mental health in general, but mental health among the celebrities. Thank you, you too. Uh, especially guys like Kodak Black, who recently had an episode, and you know he's kind of going viral because you know people say he was tweaking on his live. But we gotta understand, man. Money does not change the internal battle that certain people are having with themselves. You know, some people got rich before they got the help they needed. And in some aspects, that could be a recipe for disaster. Someone who is still mentally battling some demons, but they have a lot of money to support their habit and feed the demons within them. And this is what we are seeing with a lot of our young rappers out here. It's not even just the rappers. It's, it's, it's uh, entertainers, actors and actresses too. Male and female. A lot of them are battling issues that they were dealing with when they were children. Or at least before they became celebrities, before they gained some fame, before they be, got some little extra money in their pocket. Now, if a certain particular celebrity is just acting a damn fool and not setting a great example to the public and to their community I have a problem with that and I'm going to speak on it but when it comes to a celebrity that is just really really dealing with some issues mentally that they cannot control and maybe something happened to them when they were young uh, that scarred them and to where they don't have a real balance whether emotionally or mentally I'm not going to play with that. I'm, I'm not going to kick someone who... I'm not going to kick someone when they're already down. When they're down mentally. You know, I'm... Now, when you... I'm not talking about someone who is just... Displaying a particular behavior. And they're grown enough to know... They're grown enough to know better. I'm talking about someone... Who has something going on with the, within them that is out of their control. Some people can control their behavior. But some people can't always control their thoughts and their demons. So I hope that Kodak Black gets some kind of help. But like I've said before, it, you know, most of the time when these young men especially these young men, these young black men, when they get a lot of money and they get signed to a deal and they have uh, resources and access to a lot of uh, things that can help support their habits or whatever. It's... The thing is... A lot of times, these young men, they surround themselves with their homies. They don't have really a mentor, a guide, someone that can uh, see something going on with them and then give them some great advice and say, hey, man, you know, I got some concerns. Like, you know, did you ever, have you ever thought about looking into seeing a therapist or, you know, a holistic doctor, something? I don't think he has enough people around him like that. And I don't think he has elders or, or I don't think he has a close enough relationship with his, I don't know, his mother. I don't know if he has his father in his life. I don't know. But you can usually tell when these young men 
where a lot of money don't have any direction <clears throat> and anyone, nobody to really reach out to and talk to. So I feel bad for a lot of these young men, you know, who, who are questioning their life and who are in the eyes of other people looking like they are tweaking and going a little cuckoo. I really do feel bad for them because they, uh, they haven't gotten help that they need. Some people need, no, everyone needs, uh, mental health more than they need money. There's a lot of people out here who feel like all they need is money to, to help solve their problems that they're dealing with internally, but the money is not solving the problems. The money is growing the problems in a lot of ways. But if only people could get some type of help in some kind of way before they gain some success, I think the world would be a lot better place. Even these wealthy people. There's a whole lot of sick, wealthy people out here. People who are helping run the world. People who are actually responsible for why there's so much poverty in the world because they got so much greed they want one 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 they want to take 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 and they know people are suffering in the aftermath they know they have more than enough wealth to help free the planet to help bring balance and uh some comfort to the planet but because of their greed and because they have a lot of internal mental issues that they never got help with. They're, all they're doing is making the world more toxic. They're making the world, the world worse because of because they didn't get the help that they needed. Even politicians, you know, on politicians who are in high places, a lot of them didn't get a lot of them didn't get the help that they needed. And because we have so many people in high places that didn't get the help that they needed when they were younger or before they, they uh, gained access to money and some power, they all they're doing is making the world a more difficult place to exist on you know I, I can't I can't stand when people say man the world's going crazy man it's a crazy world we live in there ain't nothing crazy about this world it's a beautiful world right here it's a beautiful planet we exist on it's the people who have gone crazy the planet if the planet is sick, it's only because the people on the planet are making it sick. We are the viruses. Not me personally, but I'm just including myself. We are the viruses and the diseases that are spreading on this planet. This planet is not spreading diseases to us. This planet is not making us sick. We are making the planet sick. And therefore... If we are being toxic and acting, displaying sick behavior, what do you think is going to come back to us? As above, so below. What goes around comes around. So if you're being a negative, toxic person, you're going to have negative, toxic things happening to you. And with all of this toxicity, this is why we have so many young women and children. Excuse me. We have so many young boys and girls who at a, such a young age are already suffering mentally, who are battling so many things internally. And they are getting the privilege of 
being signed to get some kind of money, a little extra money in their pocket to entertain people. And because they have so much toxicity in them that they have not gotten cleansed, they are spreading that toxicity to the world. So y'all need to be praying for it. Y'all need to be trying to reach out to and help these young boys out here. Especially these young men. Because they're the ones that they're really, really suffering. These young girls are suffering too now. But these young boys are really suffering because they have no father figures. They're confused. They don't know what they want in this world. They don't know their place in this world. We got to help them, y'all. Stay prayed up.